Welcome to VacuForm Versus, a series where we compare VacuForm with the different methods of prototyping and production. For this first episode, we'll be taking a look at 3D printing. 3D printing is currently the tried and true method of rapid prototyping. It takes a digital 3D model and creates a physical copy using layers of melted plastic. In recent times, it has become more accessible to more people from the price of printers to the availability of services. This is what we aim for with VacuForm, to make this method of production more accessible to everyone. One big advantage of VacuForm over 3D printing is time. It has a much quicker turnaround time where 3D printing may take hours to produce a copy of a 3D model, VacuForm can give you multiple in several minutes so using VacuForm can cut production time drastically. Now let's see this in action. Here we have two 3D print samples of a sorting tray. One is purely 3D printed, and the other has been modeled and printed to be used as a VacuForm tool. Let's see how long it will take for each to make a copy. We set up the machines, started them at the same time, then started the clock. At the 56 minute mark, VacuForm was able to make 11 copies of the tool. So we can say the VacuForm can average around 11 to 12 pulls in one hour. It took more than 12 hours for the printer to finish the 3D print. Within that time, you would have definitely been able to make even more than 11 pulls. With these results, we can say that the VacuForm wins by a large margin. There's a multitude of ways VacuForm can help boost a business in a way that no other thermoforming machine has ever done before. Keep an eye out as we explain them to you in our next videos.